Hey, it's Jim from Janku here, and I'm looking for a new video player for my Ubuntu 20 laptop. So when I come over here and I look at videos that I've created, so for instance, I run a meetup called the Jamstack Boston Meetup, and oftentimes we record the whole session for the night, and there might be multiple speakers, and we typically want to break those up into individual videos and then post them to our library and YouTube channels. So when I come here and I look at this video, if I start playing it, the default Ubuntu player here, it doesn't have a good way to skip forward uh, certain amounts of time or go to certain timestamps, so it's hard to figure out exactly where we're breaking up those videos. So I needed a better video player for this, and I came over and I found on Reddit that someone was looking for something similar, so they didn't want to use VLC, and VLC can be a great video player with lots of features, but sometimes the interface is very robust and it's actually hard to figure out all the different nuances uh, and make it do exactly what we want. So they're looking for another video player and they want to be able to just use the arrow keys to go forward and backwards. That's exactly like something I want. So when I came down here, I noticed that the top thread here uh, was talking about MPV. Now I had tried MPV in the past and you can see the link over here. And this is basically what it looks like out of the box. Let's go and let's install MPV. So if I come over to MPV and I go to the installation instructions, and I search for Ubuntu. You notice that they have a PPA here. So I can open this up and I can scroll down here to the install instructions. And basically we're going to install a repository. So let's add this repository. And let me just open my terminal, make this a little bigger and add the repository, add my password, press enter. Once that's set, I can do a sudo apt update to update my package manager. And then sudo apt install mpv. Now after that install is successful, you can come up here and you can search for mpv and that'll open up your media player. And you can see here that it says to drag and drop videos to play it. So I can come back over here to the video we selected previously and I can drop it in there and it opens up in full screen. Now you can see here, there's a couple of controls. So I can scroll and that will shoot the video ahead or behind, but it's really hard to get exactly what you're uh, looking for to get to a specific timestamp that way. So if I come back here and play, let's try the arrows out. So if I click right arrow, you can see that's jumping very slightly. So if I do it and I, have this mouse hovering. You can see it's jumping a few seconds each time. So it's about five seconds, I believe. Yeah, five seconds at a time. So you could probably adjust that in your settings. So let's here and press pause for now. And let's just move this up here. Let's add SMB player as well. So it looks like SMB player will run on MPV, but let's go to the official site here. And let's install SMB player here as well. Come here and we'll run the add app repository, press enter. Then we'll update and we'll install this sudo apt update again to get that new package recognized. And then we'll just install SM player, uh, SM player themes and SM player skins. Say yes. And let's come up here and let's search for SM player. SM player. Okay, so this is the default skin here, but we can change this. So let's come up here to options and go to preferences. You notice here that we do have the MPV selected as the multimedia engine. And then for the interface, we can come here and we can change this from basic GUI to skinnable GUI. And from here, we can choose different skins. So this skin here looks like it's one of the default ones, but it looks pretty good, this uh, black skin from the Skinnable GUI. Um, well, I think this is the nicest theme that I was able to get. So I'm just gonna drag this video onto this now. And if I press forward, you can see it goes 10 seconds. Go back about 10 seconds. So we could set that to 10 seconds, or we could come up here and actually want really fine tune control. So you see here that that went about 10 seconds a little more than 10 seconds. So let's come here and we want really fine tuned control. So I'm gonna come up here to my options, go to preferences, interface, seeking. And then, so the short drop is set to 10 seconds right now. Let's just set that to one second. 
Now, maybe you want something different than that, but for me, that works. And a medium could be maybe 10. And a long could be a minute. Now, if I apply that, press OK, come back here, and I can just jump ahead in about one second increments, although let me get out of this real quick and open this up again. And we'll just add the video, pause it. So it seems to go in about two second intervals. So that's close. It's not exactly what I wanted. Um, let's see this again. And if I select this precise seeking, and if I press apply, let's see if that changes this at all. Say okay. Now if I skip ahead, now it's going at one second intervals. You can see down here, I'm looking at this timestamp here. So it's going exactly one second when I seek it up and down. So this makes it very easy for me to go to a specific spot and try to press play and make sure that I'm in the right place for the video. That's super helpful for me. I also like that it doesn't automatically expand to full screen like some of the other video players were doing. Um, that's kind of frustrating for me. I like to just keep this little video. I wanna basically find the timestamps I want. And then I'll just use FFmpeg to cut the video up exactly how I want it to be. So I'll just use that on the command line. It's the quickest way to divide the video, although it doesn't have a GUI. Once I have these timestamps, I'll know exactly what I need. So I actually really like this combo. This looks like it works pretty well. Now, another thing I'd want here is if I just bring this back to the beginning. When I'm playing, sometimes I want this video to play faster. So you can see right now it's playing at one second intervals. Now, if I press the right-hand bracket on my keyboard, that will speed it up to 0.1 faster. If I do that again, it keeps increasing it, and then I can decrease it by pressing the uh, opening bracket, square bracket. So you can see how that speeds it up, slows it down. Now you can do bigger intervals by doing the curly bracket, so just hold shift and hit the same button, and that speeds it up two times, and doubles it, and I can bring it back down by hitting the other direction. So that basically gets me everything that I want for looking through these videos, and it's nice that they have nice keyboard shortcuts. So hopefully, if you're looking for something similar, that this will work out well for you. And if you like this type of video, just let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. All right, thanks, see you later. Now, as I was closing up this video, I was thinking, hmm, so we have this SM player here, and it actually comes with an option here to use the M player by default that ships with it if we want to. Now we're choosing to use MPV because that first Reddit post had mentioned that that's a good combo. So if we came back over here, and I looked at this Reddit post, someone had mentioned to use MPV, and then someone said SM player with MPV works pretty well. And now I said, I was thinking, well, do we really need this MPV? So it comes with a little GUI, but it's also a backend. Do we need that, or could we just use uh, M player at that point? And I looked over here in Reddit again to find out uh, some more information. So M player versus M uh, player two MPV, which would be your choice. And basically everyone here is saying that MPV plays pretty well. So it plays lots of different formats, high quality, good playback, even on less powerful systems. Um, people here said that M player two is dead and was replaced by MPV. And while M player is still supported, don't see why anyone would use it over MPV. Okay, so that's two for MPV. The next one up there is MPV. MPV seems to be the number one choice. Okay, so everybody here is pretty much just saying MPV. So I think that's a pretty safe choice. So we'll probably leave MPV installed and use that as our playback, but then use this SM player on the front end with one of the, the skins here to make it look a little nicer, and that should work for our use case. All right, hopefully this helped you out, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.